Hi, I'm Brianna and I've been away from YouTube for quite some time. I felt like I needed to come back and address some rumors. I've been seeing conversations on Twitter and the comments of my old videos, TikTok, Facebook. Um, I've been receiving certified letters through the mail and also FedEx and UP <laughs> just really imploring me to address the rumor. And the rumor is that I am pregnant. Um, I never thought that I would be in this position as a social media influencer, um, but here I am. And I do think that it's something I need to address. So I'm gonna start by saying, yes, I am pregnant. I am very pregnant. <laughs> I'm currently 39 weeks pregnant and today I would like to go into labor but I cannot I mean so far the things that I have tried have not worked but um my house is clean and my son is gone for a little bit so I figured why not just get on here and make this YouTube video I've been trying to make for like 10 weeks so um here I am I am pregnant. The due date is next Tuesday, which I'm sure by the time this is posted, it will be long past. Um, and it's been a very good pregnancy. Pretty easy. I think I'm like built to have kids. My first baby was 10 pounds and this baby will likely be over 10 pounds. I really haven't had any issues carrying. I do not have gestational diabetes. I've done three glucose tests um, and everything's been pretty good. So this is where I'm at. Uh, but I did want to talk about the pregnancy a little bit. I mean, as the pregnancy has transpired, I've had different things that I would have shared on this video so I'm going to try to recall those I really didn't do any preparation I was just like kind of tired of <laughs> kind of tired of waiting around today and and thought I should go ahead and do this video all right so I actually was surprised to learn I was pregnant I was trying to get pregnant but I didn't I had not been aware that I ovulated and so I just didn't know that I was pregnant when I was pregnant. What happened was we were going out to Valentine's dinner with another couple and I had texted the wife that I was feeling kind of nauseous. So, you know, might not go because it was Korean barbecue and I'm not about to spend $80 and not eat. I think that would have been $80 for like both of us. Um, so when my husband came home, I said, that I had texted that and he said oh maybe there's a baby in there so I took a pregnancy test and <laughs> I was pregnant which was a surprise it was I mean it was great um now the first time I had I was pregnant I took the test I, I had told my husband that I wanted to take a test and he said no just to wait until I saw him which was going to be he wanted me to wait for my period to be late but he was going out of town like the next day this was a monday he was going out of town tuesday i think my period was due on tuesday maybe and i would join him on friday so i was like i'm not gonna wait till friday and be at your grandma's house <laughs> to figure out if i'm pregnant so i went ahead and took the test and then he i was just laughing and he came in the bathroom was like what's going on and he was mad at me because i he didn't know that I was taking the test, but I felt like I had said that I was going to. So that was kind of a thing in our, kind of like a, a missed uh, moment for me for the last pregnancy. But this time I realized it really wasn't. It's just the expectations I had for that moment were not met. Like that's that's what I expected, but that's just not how the feelings panned out. And I think that my husband may have had some anxiety also instead of pure excitement he was getting ready to deploy he was deployed for five months of my pregnancy the last time which we knew but we didn't want to let the army keep we didn't want to like give up our plans for our life because the army constantly was changing things so we would keep putting our lives on hold just to 
be put on hold, you know? So I just, we just wanted to go ahead and stick to our plan and have a baby then. Um, but that was the big thing, just the lack of excitement. And then as I went through the pregnancy, I felt like I didn't feel the way I was supposed to feel. Um, and I was really looking to others to help me feel the way that I thought that I should feel about being pregnant. And this time being pregnant, I realized I just don't have those feelings. I felt like something was wrong with me the whole time my last pregnancy. Now, granted, I was clinically depressed because it got super rough being home on my own and in away from family and really not having any close friends around. But now I know I just, I don't connect with the baby like I expected to. So even up to maybe um, 34 weeks, I was still like, I can't believe I'm gonna have a baby. Only these last few weeks have I felt like excited to meet the baby. Not even a few weeks, probably like two weeks. Um, so it was healing to learn that I didn't really miss anything last time. This is just not who I, I am. Like the way that I, my expectation did not meet the reality, but there was nothing wrong with my reality. Another branch of that is this time I didn't tell people I was pregnant if it was, if I was like having hope for their reaction um, or if there was any chance that they wouldn't validate my feelings or reflect my feelings about the pregnancy. Yeah, I just kept it to myself more, but then I also told people whenever I felt like it. So I, it, the 12 week rule wasn't hard fast for me. I shared when I felt like sharing, I didn't try to hide it, but then I also didn't expect people to be happy for me. And if I knew that that was going to be a factor for me, then I just kept it to myself. So that was different because 12 weeks is like a hard rule and then you, I just wanted to, the moments as they came up, I wanted to have them. So uh, one was like, maybe, well, one of my neighbors like, how's your Valentine's Day? I was like, girl, I found out I'm pregnant. So I thought that was like, you know, that made the moment for me. Like that was, that pretty much defined my weekend. Or um, my mom, for some reason, the week after the weekend I found out, maybe the weekend after I found out, she called and she was like, I need to talk to you. She was she tried to call me three times. And then she said, Are you pregnant? And I was like, Yes. She says, See, I knew it. Wait, what? You're pregnant? My son had actually told her on February 5th, he told her something that made her believe I was pregnant. That was February 5th was my son's fourth birthday party. So she goes this whole week thinking I'm pregnant, but I didn't find out I was pregnant until February 12th. So I don't know what that was, but instead of keeping it a secret, I just, you know, told when I needed to tell. The other thing that happened during the pregnancy was I was very triggered by, I was just very triggered for the first, maybe 15, no, it was even, probably the first 20 weeks, several things triggered me back to, um, my first pregnancy. I told one of my friends at, was it 17 weeks? She told me she didn't want to know before 20 weeks or something because she she was like, people always tell me super early and it feels like the pregnancy takes forever. So don't tell me till after 20 weeks. And um, she was watching my son or something. And so I shared with her I was pregnant. And as I was talking to her, and this other person, she was getting her hair done. So I was talking to them and I was like getting choked up just thinking about these experiences that I had. Um, and that was hard to really kind of relive something so negative. But then at the same time, I think that having a completely different pregnancy where I did have support, there was family around, um, my husband was around, my husband's engaged and excited. And I have my son who showed me so much love. He, he was, he knew I was pregnant before I told him. <laughs> I have some of the cutest videos of him like trying to figure out if there's a baby in my belly. What are you doing? 
Just feel it with anything in there. You can feel with your toes? Yeah. I feel a baby in there. I do want a baby, but why do you think there's a baby in my belly already? Because it's a stinky. Hmm? I don't know. I don't care. You don't care? Mm -mm. You do I, care. You want a baby. Yeah. 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 But having so much love this time kind of healed what not having it last time made me believe about myself. And it also like overrides the memory. It's still really sad when I think about things from last pregnancy. Like once I was excited to tell one of my friends that I was pregnant so we meet up and I was like I'm having a baby and she goes oh I thought you would tell me that never said congratulations never said how are you like she just was not happy for me <laughs> and it really really hurt me because there are so few people for me to have that moment with in person um I later learned like at the end of 2021 so I told her in 2017, I later learned that she reacted like that because she didn't think that I had a healthy marriage. So she didn't, she wasn't happy that I was pregnant. So that helped knowing too, but still that moment really hurt me at the time. Um, also had an incident where I commented on one of my videos that well, it was one of the last videos I posted, which was about the Oscars, that I was emotional, full disclosure, I'm pregnant. Well, my <laughs> husband's stepdad saw that and told my mother-in-law and I just really wish he hadn't told her because, <laughs> you know, the moms are the ones you really want to, you know, have that moment with. But anyway, and so that brought up a lot of emotions I had about how isolated I was. And I guess I don't really want to get all into it, but I sort of, the emotions that came up from feeling the feelings of them being upset that they found out on YouTube and I hadn't told them in person when really I wasn't going to, but again, I wanted to share when I wanted to share, right? I wanted to allow it to be a part of my life and not hold it to such high esteem, but then also still hold it to esteem, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, the emotions that came up allowed me to work through them and to sort of like feel upset and also allow them to be negated. So that was really good for me. My health is better this time. I mean, it was fine for the most part last time, but I started physical therapy at 20 weeks, whereas last time I didn't do physical therapy until like two months after. And I was in physical therapy for nine months. So I have symphysis pubic, pubic dysfunction, which is where the joint at the front of your pelvis is like, it moves too much. So I, when I started feeling that pain, I let my provider know. And she, they sent me to physical therapy, which worked on keeping my, my hips in alignment, or like both sides in alignment, and that just seemed to do it. So I have a, a few exercises that I do before working out or walking extended periods of time, or before painting, stuff like that, that really took care of the pain. I was in a lot of pain last pregnancy, and this time I wasn't. Um, also, I was on military health care last time, and this time I had private health care, and it was almost like I, it was healing to have somebody be so hyper vigilant about my health when last time I, there, I mean, I, I don't want to say that they were negligent, but they were negligent in a sense because they didn't know anything that was going on with me, even though I was, you know, going to my visits, but just a, a different approach. So that was healing for me too. Uh, at this point, I also find it kind of difficult to fathom having a second child, like the second person to live in my house and be in my life and I'm responsible for the second soul, like I'm creating a family member. That's kind of difficult and that also helps me understand my feelings when I was having my son. I do think that uh, we're definitely more, we're, everybody's in a better place in every way. I've done a whole lot of healing this summer. 
which is another reason I wasn't on YouTube because, well, hey, first of all, I just didn't have anything to say. <laughs> I just got to a point where I was like, I don't have anything to say. I did a lot of work on my house and I learned how to, I installed a ceiling fan. I've installed several light fixtures, did a lot of painting and stuff like that, painted some cabinets. But I also did a lot of healing work and that was, that's given me so much clarity. And I'm in a better place. My marriage is in a better place. My parenting is in a better place. So I'm pretty optimistic about what this kid's life is gonna be like. I just charged my my battery, but it's saying it's dying. And I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up because I can say anything. But I'm 39 weeks pregnant. I'm having a boy. I'll try to insert some videos. Oh, I wanna tell this one last thing. Uh, about 12 weeks, my son, before I told my son, he's he had said, Mommy, I love you just the way you are. I said, "Oh, thanks. He said, so don't get fat. And I was like, where did that come from? So we're on our way to the gym. And the next week I said, why did you say that? Do you think I'm getting fat? And he looks at my belly and says, yes. <laughs> He's so aware of me and everything. It's been funny. I also want to say that my son's name, I just heard it. It just came to me the day that we did the gender reveal. Um, this is not a name that I've, I don't know anyone with this name. I've only heard of one person with this name. I did not like this person, but I was like, oh, this is the baby's name. So I think like a spirit told me the name and we'll talk more about that later. But before my thing dies, um, I'm having a baby. I'm excited. Sorry, I haven't been on YouTube, but I'm sure I'll have some more interesting things to say. Till next time. Sure that placenta you'll feel a lot of pressure. Also, check out Roy's holding his head up. <laughs> he was literally holding his head up the day he was born. <laughs> <laughs>